This is the Bulldog Vaults BD4055. It's one of their new releases and it's California DOJ approved. It features RFID access and keypad access. And it has a bypass lock, which is really what this video is about. I have been exposing this lock since 2015 when I first compromised an earlier version of this device, the BD4050. In that demonstration, I opened the case using a fingernail clipper and then went on to perform some additional attacks. You can find the video at handgunsaferesearch.com on the Bulldog Bolts page. The reason I'm focusing on this lock is that I wasn't expecting to see it again on a Bulldog Vaults product. It's a double bitted wafer lock with five wafers inside it and a symmetrically cut key. And it's the same basic lock I picked before. So I'm going to pick this using a fingernail clipper. First, I'll push the nail file down the keyway, give it some tension and jiggle the wafers to the shear line. And at this point, the lock is picked. I can draw out the nail file and it remains picked. If I try turning the lock using the nail file, um, this will bend because the spring tension in here is fairly strong. Instead, I'll use the lever piece of the clipper. Now here's the punchline to all this. Back in September of 2017, I opened this, the BD4055B, a biometric version of this device. And what I did was this. I bumped it against the palm of my hand. Believe it or not, Bulldog Vaults never issued a recall. Instead, they had their Chinese manufacturer find a different kind of latching mechanism for their cases. But why did that require abandoning a tubular lock, which admittedly isn't a great lock, but why abandon a lock that does require lock picking tools to get through it for a worse lock? They upgraded the latching mechanism and downgraded the lock.